Same stats. <laughs> exactly. Hold on. Right. Hold on. Hi. Well, I'm going to now introduce our next guest, which is Anusuya from India. And what I want to find out a bit about you, Anusuya, is where you've come from, how you've built your businesses. We spoke a little before about your online businesses and the the help that that provided during some some recent times. Um, so build a picture for our viewers, fellow female followers of LinkedIn Me Too, about yourself and your business. Okay, sure. Uh, I'm really happy to connect you and uh, I'm really appreciate that I have been invited in your program. It's really great honor for me. And uh, so myself, I'm from, I'm Anusuya. I'm basically, I'm from Assam. It's a northeastern part of India. And currently I am living in Delhi. So I'm uh, running my business along with that. I, I do freelance consulting on GIS uh, projects. So basically my profile is into geographical information system. It's a, it's a, uh, I hope you understood. Do you, uh, that is it like, G, is it like, um, it's called GPR? Yes, right. It's right. like how you are locating your place. It is completely with the, like how you build with the coordinates. Like you are trying to find out a location. How, so the applications is built with uh, like a company uh, is based on ESRI, who is really doing very great job with GIS projects and GIS programs. Uh, so basically I'm more, uh, I've, got, I've got more proficiency on skills on ESRI softwares. So I am mostly focused on uh, like applications of ESRI on, on GS consultancy program. And at the same time, I'm running my own digital business. Uh, it's, a, it's called Busy More, where I have been uh, uh, quite focusing on that. I'm trying to helping people, mostly the women who are basically the housewives yep. and who doesn't, who doesn't have a, uh, like income passive income so they are trying to focus on their uh, uh like you know uh, the business like so that they can help the family with the financial stability along with the uh, like family like how uh, they can focus on themselves uh, um, so i'm trying to empowering them most of the women so that they can uh, start their own online business and they can uh, get the profit out of it. So it's a very quite uh, going well from last year. My business have been started. So in 2020, I mean, one year, uh, it's almost 40 people have uh, joined with me and they are doing quite good. And so I I really hopeful that many more will join. And with the, uh, so maybe uh, if you can also like, you know, encourage them, like, you know, I want to encourage from this platform, like, like how uh, this women uh, can uh, join uh, this kind of program to make themselves as an entrepreneur and coming ahead uh, to make themselves like independent. So that is the main focus of me. So like giving empowerment to the women mostly and as well as a man can also join. That's like how they will uh, think about it. Like, uh, so this is all about, so I'm so looking at so how much of your, uh, hi there, Marilyn, um, uh, or oh, you're muted is one of my settings is uh, yeah, it's to stop people coming in and telling bad <laughs> jokes, basically. Um, so uh, we, we, we did a record in the last hour with uh, Gregory, so they're not joining us this hour. Anusia, uh, Anusuya uh, was telling us about um, GPR and um, GIS systems. I wanted to ask you, how much of you use the geeky technical side? Because, well, I, right, okay. So being a digital marketer and helping um, small women start companies mm -hmm. requires visionary skills. Mm -hmm. So, Anusaya, so do you, do you think visually? Do you see yeah, uh, I mean, in your head? Yeah, of course. Uh, we give, we provide training at the beginning. First, we provide training on digital marketing mm -hmm. tools, like how they can use the platform, how they can start a business. So basically, it's a completely our platform is an automated system. Right. It has gone. We we completely we have set up the business for them, and they just have to run it, and they just have to 
you know, do it according, like how they they try to, uh, like, you know, uh, I mean, try to uh, do the business as, as their own. So it's a very easy, like, it's not so complicated, but they are, uh, um, like, women are, they are whoever who are very, um, you know, uh, enthusiastic about the work, like they want to do something their own. So they are coming forward and they learn and they learn very quickly and they uh, catch it. So probably like it's very become very easy for them. And it's it's really it's going well. <laughs> it's very interesting that you you've um that you're able to make this happen because we hear so in England we hear about people that are interested in making these micro investments to small individual uh, people in developing countries because literally you lift up women and children and the whole of society moves up if women are empowered so we now have or I have a view of you now as quite a a clever geeky person and a visionary person and a supportive person and a visionary person i think uh, these are the platforms are very important for uh, every kind of you know business empowerment i mean this so it is very important like uh, i can think that uh, this uh, people who are, who are looking for to do something of their own and it's it's really going to help them like uh, like now today we are joining and it is it, it's quite a enlightening for uh, for people who, who come forward and join and the different views you can you can see like different opinions how the people are taking it together and this is how I think you can start it like you know anything what if you want to develop a society if you want to like uh, is for example like the women who are very you know you can say in India, there are so many backward classes, people like in see this, I mean, the society where they really very, you know, they are not, uh, I mean, like, uh, they cannot come forward. Like they have uh, some, you know, cultural issues, they have some domestic issues. So it's very difficult. So, so like, you know, uh, I'm trying to help them. So if they can come up with this uh, stuff by, by encouraging them, like, you know, it's a very easy thing because now the digital, world is growing and people everybody has got the device like you know, they had to they just have to have the internet facility and they have the so like all this mobile or like you know this i'm talking about if, if you cannot afford a laptop at least a have a mobiles phone. you can afford yeah mobile phone is like you know so android phones are quite young so do you get any pushback from the women's husbands or from society? Because I'm interested in what kind of bad behavior you've experienced doing what you do. Yeah, uh, one of my uh, clients, uh, she was like, uh, it's, it's, uh, I just want to share that he was like, uh, she, she was asking me one day, like, uh, it's very difficult for me to uh, run it on my own, I need you know I'm not getting the encouragement like uh, like my family like because they are continuously they have to be you know like it is like dominating mm. that you no know, some they don't uh, they don't they uh, get that kind of confidence to come out from that uh, barriers so like they say that how how do I uh, I, I couldn't understand I'm not giving time of I can I'm not able to give my time myself this business so i said then i told her that you try to share your views like what you are going to get from this platform and that's so that you can understand you can understand that this how you are going to give the i mean like how you can uh, give the benefit out of it so he can understand at the same time you share your small small uh, success stories like what are things we are doing and you try to communicate with them properly so they can understand so there are some people who understand it, but there are some people who don't want to understand. That is also there. Like they, they just try to bully. Like they're like, you know, they know never. This is like you are a woman. Yeah, mostly you can see in a back of society in India, you can see small villages. Uh, women, they are not getting encouraged. They are quite pushed by the husbands also. And not only the husband, along with the family members. Like they don't like the women should work 